It's something that a lot of people are scared to talk about. A lot of people are angry. A lot of people don't know what to say. But I urge you who see this to say something. If you see something, to show love and compassion and to realize that this is bigger than you or me. This is something that we need to overcome together. In order to overrule hate, we have to show up with love. That's what we're here to do as pharmacists, if you boil it down, guys. We're here to serve our patients. In order to do that in a compassionate way, it requires love. In order to serve your patients, you have to have trust and understanding. And if you turn a blind eye to what's going on, it doesn't show much of that, does it? I see my victory so clear. I see my victory so clear. It's a day we break through. It's a day we break through. It's a day we break through. It's a day. Hey guys, Dr. Adam Martin with the Fed Pharmacist coming to you from a time in our world that's just really trying and the time that a lot of us are in pain, a lot of us don't understand, a lot of us have anger, and for a lot of us, we feel like there's no words. We try to be compassionate, but sometimes the words that we have good intentions behind can actually cause more harm than good. One of these is, I don't see color. And as a healthcare provider, specific as a pharmacist, this has tremendous implications to your practice and service for your patients. Right now I'm coming to you from downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on Fifth Avenue. Literally there's riots going on and there, people, a lot of people are angry. There's a lot of misunderstanding, there's a lot of hurt, there's a lot of pain, there's a lot of injustice. But when it pertains to the practice of pharmacy, we have a duty and obligation to our patients in regards to health literacy and understanding. Real talk, I am a white dude. I have no clue what you guys go through on a daily basis. I don't try to understand, I don't try to pretend I'm the expert, I don't try to give people an insight, but what I do try to do is just tell you that the problem that's going on right here is not about people, it's about hatred. It's about misunderstanding, and it's about something that needs to be addressed to counteract that hatred and the antidote to that hatred is love. As a healthcare provider, a lot of us try to be equal to everybody, but the reality of our world is there is no equality, and it's very sad, but that is the reality. A lot of us try to be compassionate, but we feel like we don't have the words, and we say things with good intentions, but they actually come off being more hurtful than we even realize. One of these things is, I don't see Keller. And with saying this, regardless of your intentions, there are five dangers that this poses to your practice as a healthcare provider. The first challenge and the first danger of saying that I just don't see color is that it allows you to ignore the complexities of racial issues. There's real issues going on in the world. And unless you've been hiding under a rock, you're starting to see that. And unfortunately, this was not just one event. This has been going on for generations. This isn't something from back in your grandparents' day. This is today. This is our reality. This is 2020, and it's sick, and it needs to be addressed. So when you say, I don't see color, there is a danger when you say that, that it allows you to ignore the complexities of racial issues that are real and alive, unfortunately, in our world today. The second danger of saying, I don't see color, is that you're not actively dismantling your own prejudices. And yes, we all have them. This is from our upbringing, this is from our social interactions, from culture, from the media, from social media, from television, from movies, stereotypes, you name it. They have been at work for years, whether the, we realize that consciously or not. So when you try to ignore that, you're taking away focus from something that can be addressed. By saying, I don't see color, you're not actively dismantling your own prejudices. The third danger to saying that is that it minimizes the struggles that people of color in our society face today. When you say, I don't see color, that's their everyday life. What you guys have been seeing going on, there's a SWAT team behind me. 
for the riots. What you see going on in the world, that might be uncomfortable or scary, but that's every day in someone's life. Welcome to their world, and that's real talk. So when you try to say, I don't see color, it minimizes the struggle every single person of color has been dealing with since the day they've been born. The fourth danger when you say something like that is that it limits your ability to appreciate individualism. You want to accept people as they are. You don't want to judge. You don't want to do those sort of things. So when you say, I don't see color, it limits your ability to appreciate individualism. The fifth thing that saying that hurts is that you can't fix something you can't see. So if you try to ignore this issue, if you try to say this doesn't pertain to me or this is a touchy subject, I don't wanna get into it, you can't fix something you can't see. So if you try to ignore this real problem that has affected every single person alive today, you're not part of the solution. And I really wanna challenge you on that because what's going on is not okay. It is wrong. And this unfortunately is the reality of our broken world. And I'm not saying this as a way that I get it or I understand what you're going through. I do not. There's no way because I'm not a minority. There's absolutely no way I can even begin to know what it's like to even have one day of what you have been going through since the day you've been born and I will never pretend to say I know. What I will say is this, I love you. I am your brother. I see the pain and immorality of the world against you and I seek only to do just that, love you. Your daily life is exhausting. I can't begin to fathom how you are feeling. What we're seeing worldwide is what you've been dealing with since you were born. Me saying I'm speechless is not helping anybody. Me saying I'm not racist though does nothing. I am not an expert nor claim to have the answer, but who I am is a Christian. I am a child of God. I am your brother. And I wanna give you some scripture from Ephesians 5. Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children and walk in the way of love just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us. If you're trying to be a part-time Christian, you can't defeat a full-time devil. The enemy is not a person. The enemy is hate, the divine will of Satan. So what, how do we do this? How do we overcome this hate? The antidote to hate is love. Racism is not okay. It's not something to ignore or give a pass to. It's not love, it's hate. And doing nothing or keeping silent helps nobody. I am not condoning any type of reaction except for this. If you see something, say something. Desmond Tutu once said, if you are in neutral situations of injustice, you have chosen then side of the oppressor. So I wanna really drive this point home, guys, and just cut this short by saying that what's going on, this affects way more than pharmacy. This way affects way more than me, than you. This is something that affects every single person. And if you turn a blind eye to what's going on, you're not only doing the profession a disservice, you're doing a disservice to your patients. And if we can't serve them to the reality of the world we all live in, what's the point? So show some compassion, show some love. That's how we're going to overcome this is through love. I feel for you guys. I can't begin to even try to understand, but just know that I love you. I really wanna get this message out because it's something that a lot of people are scared to talk about. A lot of people are angry. A lot of people don't know what to say, but I urge you who see this to say something. If you see something, to show love and compassion and to realize that this is bigger than you or me. This is something that we need to overcome together. In order to overrule hate, we have to show up with love. That's what we're here to do as pharmacists. If you boil it down, guys, we're here to serve our patients. In order to do that in a compassionate way, it requires love. 
In order to serve your patients, you have to have trust and understanding. And if you turn a blind eye to what's going on, it doesn't show much of that, does it? It's something to think about. I wanna get this message out to as many people as possible in pharmacy to let them know that we're here, we're providers. We want to continue our trust with all of our patients. And we wanna make sure that we're providing that space where they feel safe, where they feel heard. And that's the message I wanna to send to you. Guys, I'm putting a lot of time and energy into this podcast. All I really wish is that you found, if you found value from this, please consider leaving a rating and five-star review on iTunes podcast because that's literally the best thing you can do to help get this message out. Share this podcast. If it's on Instagram, tag me at the Fit Pharmacist so that I can see you, so that I can support you, and I can do whatever I can. I'm just one person, but together, that's where the change starts. God bless, go forth, and dispense your full potential. Love you.